In this video I will show you how to read and set a torque wrench in foot pounds and in newton meters. But before we set anything, just how does a torque wrench work? A torque wrench has a shaft and it's got some numbers printed on it and at the end of the shaft has a rotating handle. As the handle rotates at the end of the shaft, it also moves forward or backward, whichever way you're looking at it or whichever way the, uh, the handle is uh, rotated. Because inside the shaft of a torque wrench, there is a screw thread along which this handle moves forward. And that screw thread has a certain pitch and that pitch corresponds to a torque setting on the outside uh, that's printed on the outside of the shaft. And uh, just like any uh, commonplace uh, nut and bolt uh, threaded fastener connection uses the same principle of, uh, of pitch, uh, the same way applies to the operation of a torque wrench. I have here uh, another piece of fastener with a not with a fancy nut at the end here and uh, as the handle on the torque wrench travels forward it also compresses a spring in, uh, ahead of itself something like something like this as I'm spinning this nut forward you can see it's compressing the uh, spring coils to a tighter and tighter uh, formation and as I loosen it that was a tight one without a wrench, uh, without a second wrench. Yeah, you can see that the uh, distance between the coils here of the spring increased. So the uh, strength of the spring inside the shaft of the uh, torque wrench is translated to uh, a torque setting. Now. Let's take a look at these numbers and see how torque, uh, a torque amount is actually read on the shaft here. You can see here amounts, multiples of tens. On the left hand side here, the uh, odd numbers, odd multiples of 10, 10, 30, 50, 70. And on the other side, the even multiples of 10, 20, 40, 60, 80 foot pounds. A torque is set by using a couple of reference lines. First off, you can see that the 10 line ends here and intersects this vertical line about there. The 20 line ends here and intersects the vertical line right around there. A setting is read using this rotating scale here which has numbers going from 0 to 10 well actually look at it 0 2 4 6 8 and instead of 10 it, it's 0 again and 2 4 6 8 and 0 again so let me just rotate it back to where we start whereabouts so, a torque setting is read by reading multiples of tens of foot-pounds either on the left side or on the right side. So those are the tens and the ones digit is read from the rotating handle and the two are added together. A torque setting is read at the intersection of the handles line with the intersection of uh, and proximity to the nearest tens amount that's along this vertical line in the middle there. So let me just get rid of some of these lines and uh, I'll show you a couple of examples. Right now the torque wrench is set to exactly 10 foot-pounds. As I rotate the handle forward, now it's set to 11 foot-pounds. The 
tens amount again come from the main scale there and the ones amount comes from here the ones digit comes from there so at this moment the one is aligned the one on the shaft is aligned with the uh, main vertical line on the main scale and uh, the line that we passed barely so the horizontal line that we barely passed was the 10 the 10 line so therefore it's an 11 foot pounds of torque setting this would be a 12 foot pounds 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 this reads as 20 foot pounds because because the nearest 10 above the handle is 20 because the 10 is covered up halfway and the zero here in the middle corresponds to and lines up with the uh, this vertical line there as the uh, on the main scale so now the setting is 20 pounds let's set it to 26 pounds see how it looks like 26 foot pounds would be past the 20 and the 6 lining up on the handle with the main line on the uh, main scale the vertical line on the main scale this one reads 26 pounds because 20 uh, is a whole number that was uh, passed and uh, we haven't yet reached 30 foot pounds of torque let's try to set it to 32 pounds just rotate it forward this is 30 and carefully rotate it a little more this is now reads as 32 foot pounds of torque because the uh, because the 30 there is exposed above the handle and uh, and on the handle you have a number two that's lining up with the main vertical line on the main scale. Let's see, let's see another setting for, I don't know, 66 foot pounds. How about 66 foot pounds? Let's go ahead to 66 foot pounds. that's 60 foot pounds there and to advance six more is uh, achieved by rotating the handle again and having the six line up there with the main line on the what they're going to be the main with the vertical line on the main scale there now this reads as 66 pounds there is 60 still halfway somewhat visible there and those are the tens amount and the ones amount is here on the handle 66 because the six lines up with the vertical line on the main scale so that's how to make it work with uh, foot pounds and uh, in terms of physics this should be called uh, instead of foot pounds it should be called uh, pound speed but uh, most people call it foot pounds and uh, don't worry about it at this point uh, just like there is a general confusion about mass and weight those are different things but for now it's foot pounds is just as good now on the other side of the torque wrench we have newton meters and in this particular case uh, let me just make it a little sharper and in actual this case we have deca newton meters that is tens of newton meters so you can see there's decimal numbers printed on it for example 2.8 5.5 8.3 11.1 .1. on the other side of the main scale is 1.4 4.2 6.9 etc now these newton meters are harder to work with because 
they are not multiples of 10 because this torque wrench was made to work in foot pounds. It's not a metric uh, torque wrench and it kinda does but not entirely works with uh, Newton meters. You cannot accurately set this torque wrench to Newton meters and this is why. These here on the handle are the ones you need for a foot pounds amount to set it with the foot pound scale and uh, unfortunately one uh, I'm gonna write one foot pound oopsie one foot pound equals one point three uh, three five five one point three five five Newton meters what that means is that this handle won't work with these gradations here with these gradations it won't work with Newton meters because instead of zero uh, one two it should read zero uh, 1.3 2.7 etc and uh, it's hard to work with those numbers now here I have with me another scale that I made and I can just tape over those numbers and uh, let's see if this one actually sticks it kind of does just needs a little uh, just needs a little more sticky tape There, that will work wonderfully well. Okay, so those are the foot pounds amount. Foot pound, sorry, those are the newton meter amounts. Instead of zero, it still says zero. Instead of one, it should read 1.3 newton meters, 2.7, 5.4, etc. You can see those numbers. That's the only way this scale will ever work. Now, to set to newton meters, uh, it is uh, fairly similar to set in principle as it is uh, setting it to foot pounds, with the exception or uh, with the difference that this one says here deco newton meters. So these amounts here are decimals, but to make them into newton meters, just remove the de just move the decimal one place well, uh, yeah, one place value to the uh, right. And this is 20, this becomes 28 newton meters, 55 newton meters, 83 newton meters, 111 newton meters. So as long as you can work with that, uh, we should be fine. And uh, we start right about here at 14 newton meters. This one says 14 newton meters because the uh, 1.4 here is exposed here on the main scale, and the zero on the handle lines up with uh, the vertical line on the main scale and to set it to any meaningful amount you would need to add say let's see what the setting is now there in this particular situation here we have a 1.4 value that we passed so that reads again as 14 newton meters and to it we need to add another value uh, this line on the handle lines up with the with the vertical line on the main scale so we have to add 8.1 to it 8.1 so that's a 1 8 plus 4 is 12 a 1 carry over now, now the actual setting is 22.1 newton meters that's why, that's why I said it's difficult to work with newton meters on this particular make and model of torque wrench. And um, all of the uh, ones that I looked at in North America, uh, they don't have a second set of numbers on the handle that would work accurately with newton meters. It's, uh, you're gonna have to make up with your own gradations like I did. Let's rotate the handle forward just to any random amount. How about that one there and let's see what it says let me just uh, wipe off my marks here 
thereabouts. And maybe there. So there's a nice alignment there. That's doable. So the number here that was passed and is only halfway visible now is 4.2. So we write that 42 newton meters from the main scale. And from the handle, the uh, number here on the handle that lines up with the vertical line on the main scale is 1.3. So 42 plus 1.3, we have here a 43.3 newton meters set with this torque wrench. So that's how this particular model works and uh, that's how to make uh, any of them work that uh, have the same uh, deficiency, namely having only one set of numbers on its rotating handle. But it works wonderfully well with uh, foot pounds.